You're watching the 2024 SCAC Track and Field Media Days. Today we're taking a look at the University of St. Thomas men's and women's track and field programs. The Celts will be led as they head into the season. Under the guidance of head coach Jarek Wright, along with leadership from senior Bryce McIntyre on the men's program and junior Christina Simpson on the women's side. Coach Christina, Bryce, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Coach, we'll get started with you. It was announced back in June that you would transition and take over as the head coach of these track and field programs, the programs that you're, of course, familiar with, having been an assistant starting back in 2019. I'm interested just how this transition process has played out for you, how excited you are uh, for, for the start of this new season, and, and kind of the importance of you know being familiar with these two programs and how that maybe eased that transition as you are now the head coach of these two teams. Uh, yes, it's been a fun transition. Uh, obviously, our kids and teams are very young. So we started back in 2019, and year after year season, after season, we've just kind of grown closer just from coach to athlete relationship. Uh, going into this season now for outdoor, we're excited just to see what our returners can do, especially our freshmen. Bryce, uh, as you enter your senior year, I'm interested just from a student athlete process, how you've seen that transition as Coach Wright has, has taken over as the, the head guy there of these two programs. So certainly a coach you're familiar with, having specialized in kind of that sprint and, and jump area with the program for the last few years. So, uh, you know, what is your excitement level to see your guy kind of take over as the head coach now? And how has that transition process gone from a student athlete experience? Um, so far, it's been pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm actually – Really happy that he is head coach because from our first year, he's always been there for me. He always makes sure I was okay. And like, just as a coach, he's, he's able to relate with me more than previous head coaches. And then he always makes uh, he always makes sure that his athletes to take care of him. We all have a sense of knowing that he's always there for us. He's always provide for us. And he's going to take care of us throughout the season. Christina, entering your junior season, uh, you know, what is your mindset coming to your first year uh, as an upperclassman, having been there the last couple of years and kind of grown into to this space? Uh, have you seen maybe your role uh, within this group sort of change now uh, as you uh, come to understand the expectations of the day in, day out uh, of this program? And how excited are you just to, to be back with this team and get ready to get started for a new season of outdoor track? I'm very excited for outdoor track. Um, I have a lot of goals in mind. Uh, being an upperclassman this year, I don't think my position on the team has necessarily changed. I think I've always been a national leader, but my biggest goal for my team and for myself is just to kind of be there for everyone and make sure that I'm not only, the only one staying competitive, but also encouraging my teammates to be competitive and go out there and run. Coach, you know, as you take over – now as, as the head guy there with these two programs, I, I know you talked about the building of, of these two uh, men's and women's programs there and the work that, that's been done. But now as, as you move into that head coaching space uh, and you start to put your fingerprints on these programs, what are some of the messages you've tried to relate early on within these two teams about kind of laying your foundation and, and what have been some of kind of the biggest challenges you've faced uh, as you've taken over as the head coach there? Uh, the biggest goal of the both teams, honestly, we're trying to build that winning culture. Uh, Last season, we finished fourth place overall at the SCAD Conference Championship. Uh, this year, we're hoping to hopefully move up a spot higher. Uh, again, we have a young group that's coming in that I believe is just as sound as our returners. Um, ultimately, it's really just telling everybody at practice, hey, you know, we're all here for the same goal. We're trying to run to the best time so we can jump the best marks that we can at the same time. But as a whole, we're trying to uh, collect as many points as we can at the end of the season and uh, perform at the right time. Bryce, uh, you're coming off of an outstanding junior season that saw you earn individual all SCAC honors in a couple of different different events, both long jump and the 200 meter dash. You know, what does a season like that do for you in terms of your confidence when you have that success? And how do you kind of draw from from those two? Uh, you know, obviously the long jump and the 200 meter dash, the certainly different events. But are there similarities when it comes to your training? Are there things that you can kind of apply to both events that you're you're strong in that kind of help out uh, with, with both? Uh, you know, as you go into the year. Um, with both events, I really try to make sure I work hard, but also have fun while I'm doing it. So it doesn't feel like too much of a job, especially whenever it gets like late in the season. I, don't, I, I, try, I really try to work on not feeling like burnt out. And then um, when I do compete in my 200, it's a little bit more serious because I have to it's just be on the track, I have to represent myself and my team. Of course, versus when I'm at long jump, 
I'm not as, you know, I'm more laid back a little bit because I know it's a longer event. I got to be cool. I got to make sure I, uh, I'm not overthinking things when I do compete. Christina, you know, last season, uh, you talked about some of the goals that you have coming into this year and the excitement that you have. Uh, you know, look at your your season ago and you just missed out uh, on an all-conference performance in the 400, finishing in fourth place. You know, what have you continued to work on individually uh, with your uh, running style, with your technique, all those things to continue to grow and improve and get better coming into this season that builds your confidence as you get ready to start your junior year? Uh, my biggest thing when I'm at practice is me and Coach, we just try to stay consistent within reps. Um, that gives me a lot of confidence because, to me, consistency means when race day actually comes that I don't have to worry about anything being out of the ordinary. Um, also, just making sure that if not being consistent, I make sure I push myself to be faster every rep. Um, just with this season, I think my biggest goal is to make sure I'm not in my head too much and just to stick with the race plan. You know, Coach, obviously, I know you want your runners and your athletes to, to be competing at their very best day in and day out. But, you know, with the, the progression of a season and understanding that, you know, even if everyone's not hitting PRs uh, in that opening weekend, there is clearly that room for growth. And I think that's one of the things that makes uh, track and field such a unique and special uh, sport is that ability to ramp up to that championship part of the season. For you, how do you sort of handle – kind of that flow of the season? And what do you think is important to make sure that your athletes are, you know, ramped up and ready to go and to be able to compete at their best at that championship time of the year? Uh, it's a teamwork process. Um, it's not one person trying to do one thing. It's a group of people working together to reach the ultimate goal line. When I talk to Bryce and Christina about their individual performances, it's not about what they do on their own. It's us saying what we can do to improve our strengths, improve those weaknesses, and then with them having those teammates around them at the same time, uh, it makes it a fun culture. Uh, ultimately, we just want to make sure we have fun while we're out uh, at the track every single day. And finally, wrapping up with the student athletes uh, for both Bryce and, and Christina, when you've had conversations with some of your teammates and other leaders within your two teams about some of the goals and expectations you both have for your seasons coming into the year, what have those conversations looked like? And ultimately, what's going to be key in order to accomplishing those things heading into the year? Well, a lot of things we often say is more like um, just because you're doing like you may have one good record practice does not mean that you're the fastest person on this. Like you gotta look for look towards a long long term goal, which is conference, and not just be complacent when we're at practice and uh, making sure we fight through the fatigue and that we have a crazy workout or we just don't fight the um, we don't fight being there. So we just making sure we motivate each other and uh, just push each other to be better. Um. And continuing on for Bryce, long-term, we're thinking about conference and we're also thinking about nationals. Um, and again, like just motivating each other. And, you know, when we see one of us are down in the dumps, you know, just saying like, hey, like we're all in it together. Like you're not alone and we're a team. And finally, Coach, uh, as we wrap things up with you, obviously in our world, uh, success can be measured in so many different ways. And, and you look at the 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 success that both of these programs had all conference performances individually and within relays up and down uh, throughout the course of last year. But when you talk about success with your team and you try and measure that, what are, what are those conversations that you have? How do you try and define success within your programs? And ultimately 2024 looks successful for you in your first year as a head coach of these two teams, if, if what plays out. Uh, definitely just seeing the transition from high school to college. Uh, it's definitely a challenge. Especially going to a different training plan, a different environment, uh, new teammates. Uh, but these two, from my left and right, uh, Bryce out of high school, his best time was a 50 point. Uh, he was able to get signed down to a 48 and a 400. Uh, he was able to jump 23 feet uh, a couple seasons ago in the long jump. So seeing that personal success for me, even with Christina, uh, the fact that she was able to run under 60 seconds for the first time uh, being in this program. Um, Seeing the kids be able to do small milestones like that, that's what I really get to travel up doing as a coach. Um, yes, the medals, it's fine. That's what we kind of go towards, but just getting a chance to see them enjoy the, the journey itself is what I ultimately uh, go towards. University of St. Thomas head men's and women's track and field coach, Jarek Wright, along with leadership 
and senior Bryce McIntyre and junior Christina Simpson. The Kelts will open up the 2024 outdoor season when they head to the tourney invite on March 1st. Coach Christina, Bryce, thanks so much for your time today and best of luck as you head into the year. Thank you. Thank you.